because while they while they are on eternity, Dolph Lundgren continues to talk. It's so it gets to a point where he's so bad that he starts to confuse himself. And I have waited so very long for this moment. Let her go. No oh, man. All right, he, he asked her a question. Is that a question? <laughs> Let her go. He don't even know what what he's doing. He's like, I, Skeletor is like, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> He's like a dead of the script supervisor going, did I say that right? Are you asking me or telling me? I'm not <laughs> sure. This is not even a challenge. I just don't know. <laughs> Let her <Let's> go. go. <laughs> Hey everybody, Double Toasted Live is coming to New York on September 10th. Hey, that's my big birthday weekend, so help me celebrate with you. You can get your tickets right now over at DoubleToasted.com or go to X1Entertainment.com forward slash double dash toasted dash Brooklyn. Hey, there's a limited number of all access tickets and VIP tickets. They're going pretty fast, so go over there and get your tickets now. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. It's been 40 years since we've seen Ooh. He-Man, or at least the original He-Man. And I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, man, you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone out there who would argue that He-Man is high art. It is not. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Man at Arms putting in some work. Yeah, he, <laughs> sure. he sure is. He, was, he, was he fighting or was he dancing? <laughs> <laughs> Man at Arms getting down. Together we defend Castle Greyskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. <laughs> I'm going to get that ass, he man. <laughs> it cannot be denied that <clears throat> left a huge impact on pop culture. Especially if you were a kid, man. If you were a kid during the height of its popularity oh, out man. there, shit. I mean, even though, even though uh, these shows and you know, no, a lot of people today are not gonna argue with you know, these, even though these shows were nothing but thirty-minute commercials to sell some crazy-ass toys to kids out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. That is true. We're using the same shots every same every animation. time. Every time that was the filmation way. That's yep. true. That's true. And the thing is, man, we knew it as kids. We, we you know, we, we, we weren't stupid. We knew it because they thought the kids were stupid. They don't know that they're being sold to and, and being used and pimped out and commercialized and just used for money. And, and you know, man, we knew that shit. We just didn't care. Uh, we didn't want to admit it. Shit, I'm 50 years old and just a few days ago, I was like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> You know, because I grew up on He-Man. Well, then somebody yeah. coming to you going like, man, they just show you that cartoon to try to sell those toys. And you go, wait, there's toys of these too? Right. And exactly. like, hey, so somebody, you know, trying to disparage the thing like, I, I want all of that. Well, the toys came first. But the show <laughs> was where you saw your your, your toys come to come life. Come to life, boy. Man, just, despite being commercials out there, the show forever left its mark on entertainment history with this colorful characters and at the time what we thought was cool animation for the two minutes of, of it that they showed and also the extremely <laughs> the extremely popular catchphrase by the power of Grayskull <laughs> oh, I still get chills hearing that right, shit. I know, I love it. Same <laughs> shot. Masters of the Universe, He-Man, the Masters of the Universe. It followed the Adventures of He-Man the, and the homoerotic, the homoerotic adventures of him and Skeletor. <laughs> and everybody else. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> 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 it followed, look, let's just call it for what it is. It, it, it wasn't the adventures of, it was the homoerotic adventures of He-Man and Skeletor, whose sexual, who sexual tension had them constantly clashing against each other. In their time off, you had, uh, you had uh, uh, He-Man who was... Who was, he went by secret identity. Yeah, Prince Adam. He went by the secret identity of Prince Adam. And let's see if I can <laughs> Who find looked him. just like He-Man. Who looked just... Who <laughs> didn't wear a mask, didn't do shit. Except for somehow his outfit was gayer than He-Man. So right. with that pink and <laughs> he white. He a pink shirt. And, 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 and the white tights. Oh, well, you know, Prince Adam, he's that way. Right. Yep. So he couldn't possibly <laughs> be He-Man. <laughs> yeah, people, this is... Uh, the adventures of... Uh, uh, of He-Man, who, was, who went by the secret identity of Prince Adam. Meanwhile, Skeletor just 
roamed around uh, Snake Mountain just being a drama queen and just talking shit to his staff all day. You overgrown fur coat, you let him get away! You overgrown alley cat, you flea-bitten fur brain! You wonder why he was always after He-Man, because he wanted to f*** He-Man. Well, yeah, I, not so much in the show, but the He-Man toy always looked like it was oiled up. Well, yeah. that was the thing with the... Uh, that was the thing with the uh, uh, the cartoon. Cartoon took place on Eternia, and on Eternia, all the dudes there they they roid it out. Everybody, just not even the not even the the dudes, all the men and women. Eternia was a planet where everybody wore bikinis, or wore the thongs, yep. or wore tights, or uh, sometimes all of the above. No one wore any kind of baggy, loose pants. Bell bottoms never existed on Eternia. No, no. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's either tight clothing or barely any clothing. So just, maybe yeah. it's hot. Just sexy barbarian clothes. That's it. Yeah there's, yeah, there's roids instead of fluoride in the water. And and they must have de depilatory parties because they constantly, everybody is clean shaven all over. No hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just gonna, just nair. I'm yeah. going to tell y'all, man, uh, there's a lot of boys out there who discovered their true sexuality playing with these toys. And I'm not saying that to be cheap. I'm just telling you. Some of these people play with these as kids. They play with these toys. I'm just like, God damn, Skeletor, why are you so fine? <laughs> <laughs> you know, for a skeleton, you got some ass. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine the excitement that all of us kids felt. Well, we were told that Masters of the Universe, He-Man, was going to be a live action film. <laughs> and imagine the heartbreak we left the theater. At the far end of the universe, Stop him! a battle that will finally be fought. Oh, I want the Apparently, Skeletor had a TV studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> his camera over here. Sure, it was like his Fox News. <laughs> yep. <laughs> live action was supposed to make this more. Live action was supposed to make this more badass, man. Live action was, was supposed to make this like a Conan for kids. Somehow, this was. Far more goofy than the show ever was, while completely, absolutely missing the point. For real. It's a mean feat, though. Yeah, you they absolutely completely missed the point of what made Masters of the Universe, the He-Man cartoon and toys. I don't give a f how much you talk about their commercials and how much they're just cheap-ass toys. They meant something to people, and there was a reason why in this movie completely missed the point of what made that so popular. Well, do you know what the director's, what his explanation was? Uh, what was that? Yeah. Was that he started work on the, uh, working on this before the cartoon came out. It was just based on the toys, where ah. He-Man was like, he had pictures of the toys, and He-Man was more of a barbarian, and he wrote... They kind of came up with the story, like whoever wrote the first story, because he did a, a rewrite on it. But he was basing it on that and not the cartoon. Ah, uh, they should have waited then. <laughs> I was going to say, mission accomplished. Yeah, sometimes you just need to be patient. Why would you ever go out and make this movie before the cartoon and the action figures are out there? Because as we see, it, compl it went completely wrong. We're going to explore. Now, this is, is going to be a roast of this movie right here, but we're also going to explore... What went wrong with Masters of the Universe? They should have just put this on the <laughs> shelf after the cartoon came out and after uh, the toys came yeah. out. Because any kid that went to go watch this, right from the beginning, man, you, you were disappointed. Yeah. From, from the beginning, from the beginning, they showed you how this was going to go wrong. We should have known something was wrong. The movie opens with the most monumental st structure in Eternia. Y'all know where it is, Castle Grayskull. At the center of the universe, at the border between the light and the dark. Wait, is that a painting? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what? Right. what? I don't know no Castle Grayskull. Yeah. I ain't yeah. no Castle That's a goddamn velvet painter right, right there. Yeah, yeah they could have used one of those toys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They do the tour for the commercial. They could have just used a toy, just did some dramatic lighting and did much better because the, 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 the castle in the cartoon looks way better than yeah. what they got right there. They're going to have the nerve to, to zoom in on it to show you just how much of a painting it is. So you see the strokes. <laughs> For countless Ain't oh no shit. shit! Oh man! <laughs> 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 Ain't 
ain't no dimension. Ain't nobody flying in there. <laughs> ain't no smoke coming out of nothing. Oh man, it's a picture. <laughs> you don't see nobody silhouette walking in the skull eyes right there, man. Not nothing. They didn't try to animate that shit at all. Sure, it's like, well, you get the picture. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, we yeah, got the picture. Yeah, we got yeah, a yeah, picture, yeah. all right. Because you sure didn't get a film. <laughs> Because people said after the oh after the opening credits, that's when the real shit going to start. And as, the, you know, the credits, as the names start flying in, everybody's sitting back like, oh, shit, they waiting for that one name over there. The hero of the movie, the man himself. Billy Barty! <laughs> 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 That's what I tell you, man. Billy Barty got top billing yeah, he when, did. when this shit came out. <laughs> Billy Barty, the, the dwarf? What? Wait, wait a minute. You mean he, man, the, the star of the movie, the the the, 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 the hero? We he, we he gonna get second billing, and the movie's like, nah, man, that ain't right. No, he gonna get no second billing. He ain't getting billing at all. Those names came up, and Dolph Lundgren's name did not pop up. Yeah, at I, I, all. I don't get that because like, even even rewatching it that little bit today, I was like. All right, did I miss it? Because I, I remember me and my roommate going, we had drank a, a six-pack of beer, and we saw it at the Dollar Theater. And and we laughed because Billy Barty's name had top billing. I was like, maybe I remember that wrong. Mm. Maybe we got there late. But <laughs> Dolph Lundgren, because I, I turned my head, and I thought I missed it. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, shit, he's gone. Because surely, surely after Billy Barty, the midget in the movie, <laughs> you know, the man ain't even a fuck. The man who's, like, who's barely a, a supporting character, surely that uh, Dolph Lundgren will be next. John Cypher, Courtney Cox. Okay, she's on Friends now. Maybe they, you know, I don't know. Maybe they went and proactively made her higher. I she, don't know. She had only been in uh, the Misfits of Science. That James point. Talking. Okay, where the f- is he, man? <laughs> now this is ridiculous. Where the fuck is Dolph Dolph Lundgren? Anybody? Because at first you think, all right, well Billy Barty came up first. Now oh, it's it's alphabetical. <laughs> it's alphabetical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah think about that. But then, okay, Tolkien. All right, well they at the bottom of the list already, I guess. In the opening credits, when the hero, the main star, is a no-show, things probably going to be f***ed up from that point. You know, we should have known. And you we know sh- when you don't hear the music. <laughs> yeah. cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, man. That cheap-ass music they're playing right there, it's like, okay. Yeah, that generic-ass yeah. hero theme, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 That's whatever. barely, it's almost Superman instead of He-Man. Yeah, they sound like Superman, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's canon, right? Didn't they do Superman 4? Yeah. Yeah. So you probably use the same thing, just swapped a couple of notes. But no, we still had hope. We still said, well, man, those are just opening credits, man. You know, when He-Man <laughs> show up. That's when the shit's going to That's when on. the shit going to start. He man or oh shit oh oh f- I, t- I told y'all this shit was about to get real oh here comes Skeletor Skeletor banging that staff yeah now I'm look we looked at that and it's like okay because I remember as a kid watching this because we got dressed up to go see this shit yeah we, oh wow yeah shit I remember my my friend he had a Bobby Brown one of them Bobby Brown leather oh, yeah. chili bowl hats yeah, on yeah, yeah. yeah we we got <laughs> dressed up to go see He man that was an event for us man. We went in there and I was like, all right, you know what? Okay, yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at Skeletor. You know, I can already tell that he's a little different. You know. <laughs> a, a, a bit Darth Vader ish. I was about to say yeah. it's cool, he's got a Darth Vader thing going on, but you know, they gotta make changes for live action. That's that's cool. Uh, I can I can I can deal with that. We all know that things, you know, they take creative liberties when making these translations to film. So fine. Well, that's, that's cool. Uh and then these fools start talking. After all this time. Okay, now first of all, wait, wait, hold, wait a f- minute. Hold on, is that who I think it is? Because if that is Evil Lynn, yeah, you're gonna say that's supposed to be Evil Lynn. Evil Lynn is yellow, high yellow, high yellow. The point where she is actually yellow. She got a bird, and I'm like, all right, you know what? We can let that go because nobody bought that f- toy anyway. People are like, you know what? Shit, we we in it for uh, we in it for Skeletor and He Man anyway. So you know f- all this. Wait till Skeletor get up in here. She's like, you look like shit. <laughs> She's like, who the f*** are you? She's like, I thought they f- my character. Yeah. Like Damn. Damn. I'm not even mad no more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit, kids immediately look to get like, forgave that. Because Eva Lynn, even though she ain't high yellow no more, at least she looked closer to that character than fucking Skeletor, the main star. It's like, 
The makeup on him is so bad. That Halloween ass mask. That, that shit look like it's so bad. They just linger on this shit. He's that dude that walk. Maybe you've been that that guy, that girl. He's that dude that walks up into the costume party and has the shittiest costume out of everybody. Oh, like, Halloween God Christ. damn, I should have put more work into this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he walked in. A, like he walked in the Comic Con thing. Yeah. He gonna be the shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Oh. Oh, These motherfuckers came to play. They, they, they spent some money on this shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit. This ain't as good as I thought it was. Huh? <laughs> I, I should have let my mama put my costume together. <laughs> if you can't get He-Man and you can't get Skeletor right, then the rest of the shit just falls apart, man. It did seem like it was just systematically. Because <laughs> <laughs> something would come out and not look like it did on the show, and you're like... Well, okay. Oh, huh. All right, not that either. All right, but yeah. they, still, they still got more characters coming up. They, they got some chances to get it right. That, that is true. You're thinking, all right, man, but, man, they already messed up the main man right here. And it's like, shit, if, if Skeletor, if they fuck up Skeletor, then goddamn them henchmen ain't got a chance. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about the henchmen. <laughs> no, I, remember, I remember thinking of that as a kid. I was like, oh, this is... This is supposed to be the, the, the one. Man, everything else is going to suck. I remember just getting sad. Exactly. <laughs> if you can't get the main villain right, the rest of the motherfuckers are not yeah, going to be on point. Yeah, you and that's shot. just how it is. <laughs> and you giving up. I mean, everything. Everything just starts falling apart. Literally falling apart in the movie. Like, like his face. Like, yeah. Apart. Like the yeah. set. They, they bring in, like the set you got here. The set starts looking like a Nickelodeon uh, game show. They got... Rocks and stones that you can clearly tell made out of paper mache. Rocks just bouncing like that. Bouncing, yeah, like like rubber. Bouncing like a little bubble, rubber ball. (laughs) 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 Even that, like, see that? (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna talk about your boy a little bit. You understand? Oh, you, you, you're like a clown on a car, yeah, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even she looking like, who the f*** are you? She like, a, she like, damn, it's just getting worse around here. It's like she looked at Skeletor, she looked at him like, <laughs> what the f*** is going on right here? I thought he was back. God, God damn. damn. <laughs> it's very much a, which toy are you supposed to be? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe when He-Man gets here, it'll be better, because really they're up Skeletor already, but we still got hope with He Man played by Dolph Lundgren, who and, and we've seen him on the poster. Saw him on the poster, that and he sold the movie. Once people saw him, mm-hmm. they said, All right, nothing else. They got my man right. And I'm gonna say, yeah, At least he looks like He Man. He looks yeah. like He Man. And in the movie, when he turned around, people were like, Well, goddamn, maybe, maybe this is something that we can work with finally. <laughs> All right. All right, all right. Now we, now we get so. I told y'all, man. I told y'all. <laughs> Shit, there we go. There we go. And then the mother starts fighting, <laughs> and it's like, you know what? That's what he man is here to do. He's here to fight. But those scenes that edit is so bad. It's like, man, that is what he man is supposed to do. Fight. How did y'all f- that up like you did? Close up on the nipples. <laughs> if those nipples are moving, he's killing people. <laughs> yeah, man. Jesus Christ. That's Jay, that is, this is edited so bad that people, I'm looking at this, this random ass chest shot right here. And what's funny about it is like it's supposed to be sexy, but it just it just looks like the chest is lost. Look <laughs> it looks like the chest, like the chest don't know where it's going. Right. <laughs> I ain't and I, sparks flying, hitting them all slow and shit. And shit. <laughs> I ain't never seen a. I ain't never seen nipples look so confused. Where am I? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> who, who hit me? <laughs> I just ain't never that bus. just random ass, <laughs> random ass chest shots in there. And it's funny because they got Man at Arms and Tila in here, and you look at them as like, and they are they actually in here. These two actors, do you know their names? Uh, John, John Cipher and uh, Chelsea Fields. Yeah, she, she was just kind of a big deal back in the day. She yeah. was in the eighties. Yeah, yeah. She, she was fine too. Yeah, and they came. They, they you know they're in He Man. They said, "Look, we're professionals. We came here to act." But when 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 Dolph Lundgren starts talking, it's done. It, it it's it's a wrap. He Man, thank the sorceress you're alive. I've been looking for you. 
even like Jesus. She's like, fuck. And in his defense, he barely knew English at the time. Yeah, <laughs> he, barely, he barely knew English, but they, but they had that. Ch- <laughs> this boy, this mother <laughs> here, it's done, y'all. He man, thank the sorceress you're alive. I've been looking for you. He man, uh, the Masters of the Universe movie is officially. <laughs> it's done. Fifteen minutes in. When he made his first line, when he made his when his fighting is bad, he can't even get his first line right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's finished. See yourself out. It's done. The movie's from here on. If they Skeletor's already finished, He Man can't fight. Now he can't talk either. <laughs> Corey, as long as they stay on Eternia, they have a chance to pull this out. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe, cause while they while they are on Eternia, Dolph Lundgren continues to talk. It's so it gets to a point where he's so bad that he starts to confuse himself. And I have waited so very long for this moment. Let her go. <laughs> oh man! Are you, are you, are you asking a question? Hey, a question? <laughs> yeah, right, like, Let her go. He don't even know what what he's doing. Is that, <laughs> I, Skeletor's like, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> he's like a dead of the script supervisor going, "Did I say that right? right? Are you asking me or telling me? I'm <laughs> not sure. This is not even a challenge. I just don't know." <laughs> Let her go. And Skeletor don't. His he's not his, his makeup is not the only thing that's bad. He's he. He ain't too far off from Dolph Lundgren. And we're talking about Frank Langella. Langella, yeah. yeah. Chewing that scenery. Who, who, had, who had been winning awards. Winning awards and everything. But they put that goddamn skeleton mask on him. And he starts overacting and monologuing. Even when my man ain't saying anything. But he's, that, he's still overacting. Isn't that the Skeletor way? No, because Skeletor <laughs> kind of talks shit. And he's very queeny and dramatic. My man here is just talking. And, and even when this. he's not talking, <laughs> he's still looking and overacting. Oh, look, looking like he up in a strip club. Look at this shit. <laughs> in, in a VIP room. Yeah, look at him. Like he looking at titties right Oh, yeah, baby, that's it. That's it. Just... <laughs> You know how he loves He-Man. <laughs> and that's exactly, I was going to just say, I was going to say that at least they took the, a lot of the homoeroticism out of this, but when you look at this shit, no. And I was going to let that pass right there. I was just going to be like, he's just being overdramatic. That's it. But then, <laughs> but then when they when they oiled up Dolph Lundgren as He-Man and brought in whips and chains... <laughs> The shit turned to some, oh, it turned to some S&M shit. And, I mean, that is hot. You got to admit. And Skeletor turned. He, he was acting before, but that motherfucker got turned on. They put He-Man in whips and chains and beat his ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, We're going to do this all shit. night. Fifty Shades of Skeletor. But it, he said, I didn't know it was going to be like that. <laughs> Production ran out of money, so the whole movie looks like it's done on the cheap. Mm-hmm. Eternia is supposed to be this big kingdom. Right. That, you don't really know yeah, Eternia. exactly. Yeah. That's why Skeletor is trying to run things, because he right. wants to run all the people over here. It's supposed to be this big kingdom that's full of these people, just waiting to be conquered, <laughs> except ain't no people. People of Eternia! All five of you. I stand before the great eye of the galaxy. What people? And Eternia, yeah. You talking to dirt. Right, and Eternia is supposed to be like this utopia kind of place. Like, Mm. it's supposed to be beautiful, and and that's why he wants to, you know, and it just... Exactly, you got the... He got the West Texas desert. Desert, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Props are completely lazy in here, man. Again, this is Eternia. It is a planet far away, not just in another galaxy, but in another dimension. And yet they got shit that uh, props and chains and things that look like they just got them from Home Depot. <laughs> they got that chain. <laughs> that, that New York City that, that apartment. New York, yeah. yeah, exactly. Them motherfuckers living in the hood. <laughs> Eternity got some projects. <laughs> the editing here is it's it gets so bad that it gets comical. Yeah. 
he, uh, the reaction shots in here are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. ass. Okay. <laughs> I caught a glimpse of them balls going in. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of reaction shots in here that are like that. And the, the the editing up until close to the end of the movie continues to get worse. It gets to a point where they don't even they just stop giving a shit. Like they don't even try to they don't try to cover up the bad editing. Things just pop away. God, I wish that thing would shut up. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, she shot it with a teleporting laser. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> Did y'all man. see that? <laughs> that was awful. That was a that they there was one of those edits to where they shot this, cut the camera off, removed the light, and Broke start it. filming again. <laughs> yeah. God, I wish that thing would shut up. Look, watch oh. I, I, I can do my own edit right here. Look at this. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> now it's back. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> and they're so busy. They're so busy trying to make these bad cuts to cover up for these things until they stop caring that they're not paying attention to the things that should be cut. I don't know if you saw this early in the movie. You see that fool trip over that rock? No. They got oh, maybe dude, I did, but... They got a dude who's trying to escort one of the prisoners. I, I, don't, I don't think it's he, man, but they caught a prisoner and one of the dudes is walking behind them. He's like that stormtrooper that hit his head. Oh, on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the ceiling. They got a dude. I want you to look at your man down here. <laughs> Look at your boy down here. Look at when he starts walking. Look what happened. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is like the stormtrooper hits his head. Yeah. yeah. That's one of those moments. That's funny. And the funny thing is, it's this small, and yet I saw that big ass rock before he did. <laughs> like, I saw oh, that yeah, rock. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, I you're right. I see that rock right there. Yeah, I do. see it clear as day. He did. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's one of these things where uh, I know uh, the artist William Stout designed a lot of the characters for this, but the costume designer made a lot of costumes that weren't very functional. Listen, it's thanks to this cheap ass budget and cutting corners that they totally got wrong one of the absolute biggest things in the movie. I mean, look, if there's anything you want to get right about this for these kids out there who are going to be your money makers. You want to get those toys right, man. Yeah. The, 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 that, that's what made oh, really? He-Man so popular, these toys. And, and we don't care, man. And You know, yeah, they were stupid. They were silly. But as kids, you know, they were weird and we liked it. I, and I'm telling you, for the movie, I don't give a f*** about the name. Spike or Stink or Merman, Triclops, all these too bad, all these pun-ass names Jesus here. Jesus Christ. Mo, Majulok. <laughs> They got. This, I love this weird one, Dan. I'm gonna find this weird one. Boy, they just didn't give a shit when no. they were creating these toys for I you guys. Mantena. <laughs> I, I had that one. Mantena's on. Who's on some shit right there? <laughs> you know, we, that's who we want to see. Don't care how silly they were. Make a make a silly ass movie. It's already crazy. Uh, not here though. Well, that character Blade was supposed to be Trap Jaw. Well, no, actually, they had a. They had a character called Blade. But see, here's the thing, man. Uh, not here, man. Either the, either they picked the toys that no one got, that no one bought, or they just made shit up. I have selected your finest warriors. Blade. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. I, I saw this dude buying hot dogs at Comic-Con. This ain't no, <laughs> this ain't no warrior. Thing is, that that's Blade. Now, unless they did this after, maybe they did it for the movie. I don't know, but... There was a character named Blade. Blade was a mercenary like this dude in the in the in the in the movie. I read that they initially wanted him to be Trap Jaw, and then just said like, we "Oh, can't look, we... in the movie, they ain't got no money to make yeah, no yeah, Trap Jaw." Yeah, they can't do that. They, would... they figured out. Right. Yeah. That's right. Like, they can't do no Trap yeah, Jaw. You better man. get a mother <laughs> eye patch. And that's <laughs> right, right, right. That's easy to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hold, hold these two sticks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Eye patch on. I'm like, get out of here, you man. What the f you know, give that dude that this guy did not look. Threatening at all. He when he popped him, trying to look bad too. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, shit better look at motherfucker. Better not say nothing to me. <laughs> and he's a actually he's the least stupid looking one out of all of them. Sarad. Change that. So Sarad, I'll talk about him in a minute. But Sarad was actually actually kind of cool. Sarad had a throat that bubbled up and everything. He was actually he was all right. The Beast Man. 
Beast Man. He's in the cartoons. He's yeah. in the cartoons, but in the cartoons, he looks so much better. Be- yeah. Goddamn Beast Man head looks like the Cowardly Lion with herpes and shit. Right. <laughs> His hair's supposed to be red. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Here's the worst looking one right here. And Karg. Oh, yeah. fuck you, oh, no. <laughs> no. It's with that cotton candy hair. Yeah. yeah it's it's, it's fucking hair, this man. This motherfucker looking like somebody's chain-smoking grandmother. <laughs> All right. It's in that cotton candy. <laughs> it look, looks like that old bitch that you find a dive bar late at night. Yeah, right? One of them is yeah. too much and shit. And eating popcorn. Eating po- yeah. peanuts and popcorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And trying to hear well, what are you doing here this late? <laughs> what brings you to the bar tonight? Not you. Hey, fella, <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. know what brings me in, but I know what gets me out. You want to buy me a drink? <laughs> no. <laughs> but even the ones that look, the one that looks good, all of them look stupid when yeah. they make the intro. Because all of them make an intro like they, like they, like they doing like a, like they doing like the theater and shit. You know, <laughs> not even like, not even like superhero shit. They making like dramatic theater entrances. <laughs> Coming up yeah. next. Yeah. And cards. And she just lost. That's yeah, why yeah, she yeah. sucks. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Hold on. Wait a minute. Beast Man look pretty stupid, too. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> at, least <they're, laughs> at least they're trying, but my man with the hair, he, he just looks dumb no matter what he does. Stop pushing me. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hook on and stuff. Yeah. I'm surprised one of them to come out with jazz hands and shit. All of them look like a bad stage play. I look like one. You know, they look like they look like the goddamn Master of the Universe show at Six Flags. Yep. <laughs> Beast Man! Snake Dude! Snake Dude! Hey, whoever the f this is! <laughs> snake Dude! <laughs> and the, the, the Snake Dude. He tried. They actually, he looked. It's a cool eyes, too. Kind of show his character. Yeah. And you kind of went, mm. <laughs> 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 Well, he actually looks kind of cool. You know, I thought, all right, you know, this one. He yeah, the looks, eyes are cool. He looks badass, and I and I think now, I have no proof of this, but I would not be surprised if a uh, snake dude, and his name is Sarad. I would not be surprised if Sarad was actually based off of an uh, action figure that they did, uh, Snake Face. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Character looks cool. Like I said, he's articulated and everything. And I'm thinking with that, all right. You know what? With that character, we messed up with the major ones, messed up with the henchmen, but with that one right there, maybe, just maybe, maybe we're actually getting somewhere. Actually doing something cool. Oh, but wait, we can't have cool in this movie. No. Cool, cool costs money <laughs> in this movie. So Skeletor, he took care of that shit real quick. We ain't got that kind of money. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you show up in all that yeah. expensive makeup? They took the best looking henchmen out. Yep. Left the rest of those stupid motherfuckers in there. And I, you know what? And not that it was that much of a loss, because like I said, you know, actions speak louder than words. So Rod looked cool, but he sucked when it came down to actually getting stuff done. Oh, shit. <laughs> He didn't do nothing. He just walked through a warehouse doing this till somebody shot his ass. You couldn't <laughs> shoot He Man once? No, he was standing right in front of me, walking towards me. And that bitch from Friends came and got me. She snuck me from behind. Now, Beast Man, Beast Man, at first, I thought Beast Man was going to put in some work because I said, all right, he looks stupid, but oh shit, he's, he's, he's big. He's big and he's about to prove himself. He actually got the drop on He Man. Bring your ass over here. <laughs> bring, bring your pretty ass in. <laughs> right. I, I, I'm going to get a taste before Skeletor yeah. does. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to break your ass bring in. Your ass over here. Behind yeah. these boxes. Yeah. Come here, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I see why Skeletor wants that ass. Yeah. Look at him like, no. Get, your dick is in me right now. Stop it. <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. It's going, it, it'll get easier. <laughs> if you just relax. <laughs> <laughs> you need to loosen up, you know that, right? <laughs> but, hey, look, you know, too good to be true, right? I mean, this is the Masters of the Universe movie. Too good to be true. It just only took five minutes for Beast Man to become Beast Bitch in this. Come on, suck your dick, Skeletor. Get, Get off me. <laughs> well, that, that's kind of accurate to the cartoon, right? Now, yeah, that is. Yeah, that is. Get off me, Fireface. Right when you think things couldn't get any worse, they go to Earth. 
And where everything was going downhill before, going downhill fast, the shit just crashed when they got to Earth. And starts digging. Yeah. <laughs> Things get so much worse when they get to Earth. The, the, the special effects, you thought they were bad before. When they got to Earth, they didn't give a f anymore. <laughs> That reminded me back when, when was it in the in the sixties or seventies when Disney did bed knobs and broomsticks? Yeah, I used to love yeah. that movie. Yeah. That looked like that. Yeah, that's what it looked Actually, like. Actually, bed knobs and broomsticks looked a little bit better. <laughs> Worst of all, the real story kicks in here, which is they go to Earth because of this device that the fake ass uh, Orco made. He's jacking off in the bushes right, right. now. He got a shot in the bushes. Hey, just look at him. He's jacking off. Look at him. Jacking off in the bushes. Straight up. Look at him. Now, no, the, the, look, look at him right here. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now, to be fair, the only thing he's jacking off to is that bucket of ribs that they have in the car. Oh, right he now. tears that up. Oh, hell yeah. He should have done. <laughs> And when they find out what it is, all of a sudden you find out everybody on the turn is a vegetarian. Right. Look at me laughing. They were turning that bucket up, man. Yeah. Lips just as red from barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Especially the Billy Barty had all oh, his yeah, face. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, a great value Orco has barbecue yeah. sauce dripping down his chin. Oh. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's like you look at her. It's like you look at her like, fuck are you. <laughs> <laughs> little sneak ass. Yeah. <laughs> of course, when they get there, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to hide out on Earth, which means trying to save money. Hide right. out on Earth means trying to find the other device key or whatever that'll get them back to eternity. So all they're doing is just doing a. They just on a scavenger hunt right. while for the MacGuffin, which, 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 which means gets them off of a location set. Which exactly. Means, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gets, gets them off a yeah. of soundstage. Yeah. Gets these motherfuckers and shoot in a parking lot. Right. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> for for several days, too. <laughs> the motherfuckers do a lot of scenes right there. I, I remember that. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie. They spent a lot of time with that chicken and rib shake. <laughs> They, they, only did, and they only shot there so they could eat half the time. Right, right. right. <laughs> they yeah, probably man. would do a craft service. They probably catered in the place, but we got to shoot here, too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. Chicken and rib And shack. this is where you get introduced to, uh, this is where you get introduced to, because you got to, when you get to Earth, of course, you got to have Earth people help you, you yeah, know. Of so, yeah, of course. For the audience to relate. This is where we meet, enter, pre-friends Courtney Cox. Who has her last day at the rib and chicken shack, and she's she's proud of it too. Well, I love the way this I love the way this other chick over here. She throws shade at her man real quick. This she just happy to quit her job, and these other motherfuckers up here, this crab ass crab, motherfucker, crab, crab, crab motherfucker. Yeah. She might as well work at a seafood <laughs> restaurant because <laughs> they just being petty. Yeah, I never thought I'd feel sad about doing that for the very last time. <laughs> Don't worry, Julie. They got fast food in Jersey. Wow. She like, look at it. She like, this bitch. <laughs> she <laughs> like, the camera. She like, can you believe this shit? Bitch? <laughs> like, I told this bitch what I was going to be doing in Jersey. like, just because you ain't got no prospects in life, you ain't got to hate on me. She looked at the camera. She looked at us. She's like, can y'all believe this hoe? She may as well, she may as well say, Don't worry, you'll be back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You. Uh, and she didn't even give up the dignity look at her. Right. She laughed over the back to her. We also meet her boyfriend, Kevin, played by Robert Duncan, who's kind of like her only family since her parents died in a plane crash, a plane crash that her father was, was, was piloting, which she doesn't hesitate to guilt trip Kevin on every chance she get. So we're all supposed to go to the beach that day. But I said I had to study because I wanted to spend the day with you. Like, oh, oh, this shit again. Uh, right, right. It's like, oh, so you, what you're saying is, I saved your life. I saved your life. <laughs> God damn. Well, but also, he's like, oh, this story again. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the moment she said, like, can we go up to my parents' grave? Oh, uh, my God. Yeah, every, yes, we are. Every yes, time I try to get some ass, she yeah. starts telling the story. Yeah. Question for y'all, real quick. What would you do if you were walking through, I don't know, a graveyard or a grassy area? And you look down in a hole and you saw a strange mechanical beeping device. What would you do? Answer the opposite of what these two would do. Whoa. Well, Julie, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wow, really? 
Yeah, just just pick up the strange foreign explosive looking device that's beeping right now, red. I take off running the other direction. Call the goddamn yeah. bomb squad. <laughs> that's what I would do. Yeah, I'll call nine one one immediately. Okay. Kevin, the boyfriend. He just weak. I mean, he tries. He tries, but when the shit goes down, he's just sorry. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> he a napkin at his ass. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> He's like, he's like, oh shit, that was all I got. Yeah. He, he's thinking like it's a bear. <laughs> you gotta make yourself big. Yeah. He, threw, he threw a Burger King napkin at him. He was just eating Burger King before that scene. You was he eating Burger King? He was eating Burger King like a motherfucker, man. He had to put that product placement in there. He, and he was like, mm, mm, mm. man. In eighties, every movie hit through Burger King in that film. Like Burger King was really balling, yeah. like with, with product placement. Hey, I mean, they, they they jumped on it before everybody else. I'm just saying, Back to the Future, this. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was everything they had Burger King in. They put uh, the camera directly on Kevin throwing away trash because the trash got Burger King yep. on it. Oh. In the sink. Yeah, I know. Show the label, and when you put it over there, make sure we can still see the label. Oh my God. If I ever don't see Burger King on that cup, you're fired. That fool made sure that trash was pointing directly at the camera. That Burger King label was directly from the camera. Putting garbage, in, putting garbage where nobody puts garbage either. It was framed. Yeah. Well, they couldn't show him putting it into a garbage can. No, no. Because no. that wouldn't help with the product. Yeah, yeah, that would obscure it. So you got to right. put it in the that, sink. Well, yeah, so he puts it in the sink like, no, like nobody fucking yeah, I'm does. I'm wash this cup and use it again. Yeah. Go, go to your mom's house and put some shit in the sink, see what she does. <laughs> she cuts you up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Julie is Courtney Cox, man. Julie is so dumb, man. The, 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 the villain, so they're magical, right? So they do something. They pull an old trick, man, and anybody be like, hey, wait a minute. Not Julie, not her dumb ass. So to get the portal device thingy from, from her, we told you her parents are dead. So what they do is Evil Lynn comes in and just disguises herself with magic like her mom. And she falls, Julie, she falls for that shit easy. Puts everybody in jeopardy. Kevin, you won't believe this. They're alive. What is the matter with you? Where were you? <laughs> huh? You. <laughs> you see her face through the beginning? She's like, what's the matter with you? No war about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> you distracted. You caught you slipping. Yeah. Normally, I mean, more, normally, I would say, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, normally, yeah. I would say, none of your fucking business. Right. I got you distracted. Yeah. Zoink. Yeah, yoink. And then runs out there and falls for the oldest villain, the magical villain trick in the book. Like, who do, okay, you, 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 you dumb, but like, <laughs> do you think the first thing that your dead mother's gonna do when she comes back is say, hey, go get me that thing? Yeah, right? yeah, right, right, right. Yo, what's your mama, what's your mama want with that, man? You think they say, hey, let's go, let's go spend some time together, hey, like, you know, let's, no. go, hey, let's go catch up, hey, your father's waiting on you. No, baby, go get me that shit that all these other villains been chasing all day. <laughs> right, right. Remember, that, remember that big mechanical shit you found earlier? Yeah. Go get me that. Go yeah, get I me need that. that. Hey, no, I, was, I, was, I was pretending to be dead, waiting for the chance to get that back. You notice that how uh, Billy Barney's makeup is completely falling it's apart? It's falling apart. Yes, the, oh, I didn't he's see that. Getting that. Oh, but this ain't, this ain't the only thing. Like, she takes that shit back and immediately is made to feel stupid. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. No! <laughs> 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 Wow, she put everything into that, didn't she? Whoa. And she ain't screaming because she's scared. She's screaming she's because good. she knows how stupid she is. Yeah, right. No! I'm fucking stupid! I can't believe I fell for that shit! <laughs> oh, you evil bitch. <laughs> stupid. stupid. But they ain't got nothing on Lu Lu the, the Detective Lubick, played by James Tolkien. Who's, oh, who's, who's, who's from uh, Back to the Future? Back to the Future. Elijah's gonna be a slacker McFly, just like a slacker dad. You know, you remember him. But he slacker. plays this character, and I know we make this comparison a lot, but for real, he plays this character like a straight up coke addict. He's all <laughs> fidgety. Even when he makes his introduction, he's messing with his nose. She's about five foot five. 
I mean, why aren't you out doing something, huh? All right, I'll do something. I'll take you for a little ride. Let's Put your go. ass downtown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he kind of brought that shit on himself. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never on the cop side, but he, he kind of brought that shit on himself. <laughs> but he's always like, I, I ain't got the patience right now for this yeah. shit. Yeah. shit. You just brought a, you brought a trip to the county. Get your yeah, ass yeah, yeah. For what? Question the f*** out of me. That's what. Yeah, yeah. I'm Get on my, my damn nerves. I left my what. stash in the car, too. <laughs> hey, can, can I put the period on the sentence I just wrote? <laughs> That's all you going to do you is write it. Yeah, bring your you know ass what? in. Come on, man. Fuck yeah. you. Because <laughs> he was just trying to get the information yeah, down. Yeah. Is that yeah. all you're going to do? Oh, no, I'm going to do this, too. Right. <laughs> yeah. hey, he, stab you with this boy, he, he's so high that he just as stupid as, as Julian Kevin, man. Well, he has to be. Yeah, he's so high. Like, like he would probably be the smartest guy in the room if he wasn't so coked up because <laughs> what, normally anybody would be like, don't touch that thing. Put that down. No, his dumb ass, he's so coked up, he picks it up and starts playing with it too. And he's more giddy about it than they are. Careful. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the biggest battle scene in here, if it ain't on that Nickelodeon game show set, it's in a, a music store. Oh, no, the guitars. Yeah. Just tearing up instruments, man. Ain't nothing cool about that. Ain't nothing cool about that at all. Like they, they, uh, they finally have battles out here on Earth, and I like the way they in the they in the middle of a neighborhood, middle of a of a, of a suburban neighborhood. Skeletor just rolling. <laughs> They see me rolling. Yep. Again, I'm nerdy. No shit. End game. <laughs> Police ain't coming out, and there's a scene you can actually see traffic in the background. Yeah. Police ain't showing up. Nobody's calling anybody. <laughs> Police show up after they're gone. They were here. I'm telling you. It's the damnedest thing you ever saw. Damn, Skeletor pulled a Michigan J Frog on his head. Yeah, yeah. And, and the guy behind him's like, "Yep, yeah, yeah, he on that shit yeah. again. Yeah, he on that shit. Again. He on that shit. Whatever, yeah. dude. Yeah. No, don't, don't, don't listen to him. Uh, and then they're gonna have the nerve. They're gonna have the nerve to do the thing. No, 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 no. no. It's too late for that no, shit. No, no. no. Nobody want to hear that shit. No. no. You ain't even get the lines. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you don't have the power. Yeah, everybody's good. Everybody's going home. They give Courtney Cox, they give Julie a, they give her a plot device to a sequel that will never happen. Julie, keep this with you. And Eternia will always be near. Yeah, no, nah, go ahead and keep it. You know, attorney gonna call, give him to get some goddamn big gumball right there. The jawbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, you ever steal that shit again? I swear to God. <laughs> Fuck you up. Just yeah. so you know. Detective Lubick says, shit, to hell with that. Shit, these fine ass chicks they got up here yeah. on the attorney. He's like, I'm I'm staying. So you're really gonna stay here, huh? What are you kidding? What am I gonna go back there for? And look what I got here. I got I got a castle. I got a view, I got clean air, I got a beautiful woman. Huh? I got a wife and kid at home, but f*** them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they don't have cocaine here. Yeah. Oh, oh, no one no. told me that. Hey, 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 hey. Jumped hey. in the water. What? <laughs> no, brother. Come back seven and a half. <laughs> I got a castle. I got. You don't have any of that shit, really. <laughs> this is all out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, I was asking, but I had to ask where you gonna stay. <laughs> yeah, you, you're yeah. gonna be a surf here. Yep. <laughs> and by the way, that's a prostitute. Right. <laughs> you, you gotta pay for that. They have to leave you with, with right with one more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, no, nah, you don't. Mm. No, you don't. Go on somewhere with that. Nah, it's too late for that. Too late. Wow. Don't you dare come in the mm. last minute with that. Wow. <laughs> Speaking of the last minute, oh, you saw this. You're not gonna show the last minute. That was the last minute. The teaser. I mean, the uh, the, the stinger. Did the stinger? Yeah, it was the first one of the first ever stingers. Oh, we got another Sir Billy moment. Oh <laughs> shit! I did not know. Courtesy of Sir Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Billy. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lenny. Wow. I told you. <laughs> I 
told you that was a stinger at the end. I told you that was a stinger at the end. And you know that was shot way after the fact. Yeah, I know. But did I tell you? You did. You did.